until there's a proven vaccine or some other therapeutic medicine provided for us, the masks are our medicine for this pandemic. We've all heard Governor Gary Herbert's weekly news conferences throughout COVID-19, but he has done so much more during his tenure, and it's out with the old, in with the new, and hopefully the new is as good as the old. He's going to talk this evening about his nearly 12 years as governor. Yeah, this morning, Robert Gerke from the Salt Lake Tribune has a look back at how Herbert has changed and evolved. And maybe that's the key word, evolved, because he's had a lot of time to do it, to make changes to his leadership. Hi, Robert. Sure. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, when uh, the governor came into office, it was a little bit unexpected. I mean, he was, he calls it himself an improbable journey in politics. Um, obviously, everybody knows he was John Huntsman uh, for several years. And then, uh, you know, he became, uh, he became governor himself. Um, unexpected in a lot of ways. Uh, but yeah, over 12 years, uh, over almost 12 years of, of his service in office, he, he's, he became, uh, he left an indelible impression on Utah as a state. Yeah, he does leave a leg legacy, particularly with all of the uh, justices that he, he uh, got through as well. 108? Yeah, I mean, some of those were appointed to lower courts and then elevated, so they got two, but 108 judges, almost, almost 90% of them. Um, of the judiciary uh, vacancies, uh, he's 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 appointed judges. I mean, I think the biggest thing, though, when everybody talks about Gary Herbert, is that he uh, the economic growth we saw over the 11 and a half years. He, if you think about it, he was bookended on one end by the Great Recession, on the other end by the coronavirus. But in that 11 and a half year span, Utah had the highest GDP growth of any of our surrounding states, any state in the in the Mountain West, um, over five five point four percent per year which is really remarkable when you think about it, it, you know, and so if you look at the graph, it's like down here, up here, and then a big drop at the, at the uh, pandemic. Um, you know, and, and, and people say he was, he was singularly focused on the economy. He wasn't flashy, as I said in my column, he's, you know, he's not a John Huntsman, he, he's not, doesn't have the silver tongue, he's not that polished, he's not a big vision guy like mm -hmm. Mike Levitt, but he's Gary Herbert, and he was, he was focused, he was consistent, and he was competent, and, and I think, um, did it did a remarkably good job for Utah, and I want to say like I I don't necessarily agree with everything Gary Herbert did in 11 and a half years. Certainly not, and I think there are a lot of people who who feel the same way. But you know, there, he was he was moderate, as he says, moderate in tone, conservative in politics, and and you know kept a kept a steady hand on the ship of state. Robert, you also mentioned in your article that uh, the governor had to deal with two catac cataclysmic economic collapses. Yeah, I mean, coming out of coming out of the recession, you know, he took office in August of 2009, um, officially, and and we were sort of at the low point of of the Great Recession, um, and and you know, sort of on the way up, I guess, um, coming out of the pandemic. Uh, I I think one of the one of the things Spencer Cox, as I say in my column, has going for him, is the foundation of the economy that has been built over 11 and a half years, and it's Governor Herbert in conjunction with obviously the the private businesses. And and with the uh, and and with the legislature that put these policies in place, but has really built a solid foundation for for the economy for the state of Utah. Uh, that's not to say there aren't challenges. Obviously, we're still dealing with pandemic. We've got growth related issues that we're going to be dealing with for a long time. Um, but I think you know, for I'll be honest, when when Governor Herbert took office, I was a little concerned. He came out of Utah County, strident conservative guy. Uh, a rural a county commission kind of guy, um, but I think he governed from the middle, and I think Utah is, has been served well by his uh, by his tenure. Likely, do you think it is that uh, Governor Cox, now Governor Elect, but Governor Cox eventually will be a moderate and uh, carry on a lot of the same things that his predecessor has done? I think he's I think he's seen uh, seen the results from Governor Herbert's tenure. I think we've seen we're seeing Governor Cox as he's taking office or or getting ready to take office, um, sort of thinking about his vision um, in a way that you know you get to when you're first coming into office, and and I think that's valuable. Um, I, as I mentioned in the column I, four years ago when Governor or Governor Herbert was reelected, uh, you know I kind of said now's the time to do big things, do big ideas, do you know take this political capital you've got, your mandate, and do something big. It's not really his style. It's just not Gary, who Gary Herbert is. Um, you know, he, and, and he's never been sort of that ambitious, 
seeking the next office kind of politician. We never saw Governor Herbert talking seriously about running for Senate, running for president, like we see so many governors, uh, you know, once they've served a few terms. Um, and so I think he just, I, I think, I think Governor Cox has seen the re seen the results that Governor Herbert's produced. He's learned from, uh, you know, if he if as I said in the column, if he wants to be competent and moderate and and steady, I think he's learned from a good teacher. And if you'd like to read more about Governor Herbert, you can do so in Robert Gerke's column, which is in today's Salt Lake Tribune. Robert, thank you.